Hello everybody, this is Ricardo from RP Simulations and I'm here to present you something uh, news related to the Embraer MB312 Tucano for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Some people are facing some problems and issues regarding with the engine of this aircraft. I will display well, how and why it's happening and how to fix it. First is let's take a look inside the aircraft and let's start it and see if the problems still exist. Let's start the aircraft quickly so it will be easy. Battery, alarm off, AC converters on, main fuel pumps, auxiliary fuel pumps, parking brakes and let's start the engine. Let's wait till the engine starts and then we'll see if the problem is this happening or not. This is a very cool aircraft to fly and we uh, should see how it goes. Some people are also asking me and say, oh hell, the alarm is still buzzing, what's happening? This is the problem. As you can see, we set up all the main systems but the air conditioning and the oxygen pressure is off. So to turn off the alarms, just press once, but it is still on. Let's turn on the oxygen, so it will turn off the light, and then let's go to the air conditioning system and turn it, set it to on position. This will stop the alarm at all. Now the engine is started, let's try to move on and see what happens. You can notice that we've set the taxi position for the lever in the throttle and let's try to move the aircraft. I will release the brake and speed up the aircraft. As you can see the problem is here. There is no shaft power at all. The engine is 100% on, the NG and, N and H NH is on, 100%, so the aircraft should be very fast right now. Let's move on, turn off, and see how to fix it. It's a quick simple, it's very very simple to fix it, okay? It's related to the Microsoft Flight Simulator behavior, it's not a problem of aircraft at all. Microsoft Flight Simulator has introduced new and advanced models of simulations for these aircrafts. So, this is a new aircraft built for this Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, so it won't work as legacy. It's not a legacy aircraft that was bring it from Microsoft Flight Simulator X or other um, flight simulator, okay? It's a new, completely new model, completely new aircraft built specifically for the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So that's the reason. Let's go back at the main menu and fix it. It's very, very simple to fix this. Go to Options, General Options, and Flight Model. You can see it's in a legacy model that it's just for older aircraft, bring it to the Microsoft Flight Solid Simulator. For newer aircrafts and aircrafts built specifically for these aircrafts, Microsoft recommends to use modern flight model. Okay, reflect release behavior of the aircraft. Yes, let's apply, save, go back, and fly again. Let's take a look and spawn the aircraft here. I will show you more stuff about this aircraft in a few minutes, but for now, this is the main problem and the main issue that many people are having and may by be affecting your flights and affecting your experience, especially in Xbox. Uh, other issues that people are facing and saying, oh, my GPS is not working. Okay, the GPS in here, okay, it's a PMS-50 model that was bringing inside the micro this aircraft. So, if you don't have this add-on, the PMS-50, the GTN-75, 
650 or the GPS 650 it won't work it will get a black screen and it's normal this is the storm scope it's not implemented yet all the functions is okay but it won't work because it's not implemented in this aircraft yet in future releases maybe we can use it we are trying to make a part a share with the just flight that it has uh, working storm scope and probably it will be here if it works and they allow us to use inside this aircraft let's start again the aircraft and you will see if the problem is goes I will let the alarm buzz right now just to see and display if once we turn off all the lights the alarms will shut off let's go to main switches strobes and ignition the aircraft will start once we have fuel pressure hydraulic pressure and oil pressure it will be turned off the fuel pressure is not on because we are not engaged there throttle to the idle position as we did right now so once it goes there it will be in a faster way oh we can see there is no power at all because we did not turn off we did not turn on the main and the auxiliary fuel pumps now their craft is starting the alarm is still buzzing because we still have green red and yellow alerts here let's wait till the engine starts and the engine is on let's fix this problem and stop the bus let's turn on the oxygen supply one on and once we turn on the air condition the alarm stops it's quick si and simple this aircraft is uh, not a study level aircraft but it's an aircraft that requires you work properly with it we recommend to see and play with it it's a very fun aircraft with many systems very well designed and modeled let's see if it's working right now move the throttle to the throttle position let's wait the feathering of course you can see the NH rising up so the propeller is working okay and that's it let's try to turn off and move their craft As you can see now, they can move their craft perfectly. So it's not a, a problem with their craft, but a configuration that must be done at Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 as I displayed it right now. Let's stop it right now. For the next updates, I will bring you. Uh, we will bring you something news like related with the taxi speed. We are going to reduce it a little bit because it's a little bit faster. Okay, but not too much. It's a, just a, a, a little tweak that we need to, to make it, and uh, new livers and other stuffs that will be very very cool for this aircraft. The PMS 50 is working right here. Okay, it's the 650 aircraft uh, GPS, so it's fully functional, even at the basic, free, and uh, the premium will work perfectly here our radios are okay other people say oh my DMA is not working no it's working perfectly you should turn on and turn the frequency correctly yes. 115 80 is this RP's DMA you can see it's working fine with all indications working in that RMI and HSI so don't forget to go to the DME mode if you go to back to the NAV mode only only those two will work if this one will not work if you turn on it will start working okay I hope you enjoy the video and 
don't forget to subscribe we have also at the description of this video uh, a, a link for the our discord server so you can see more stuffs and more aircrafts that we are working on to bring it to Microsoft Flight Simulator don't forget to rate our craft once you buy it on that marketplace with three stars or more because it's a very cool and very well modeled aircraft it doesn't uh, deserves less than three stars at all at least okay thank you for your time and we appreciate and see you in the skies bye